Hi, this is Christian Chase with Chase Real Estate and ChaseForeclosure.com. One of the best things an investor can do is be visiting their property on a regular basis. Now, we totally understand if you're a local investor to the Chicagoland area, you very well may not be able to get out to the property on a regular basis. Um, and if you're not local, you live out of state or out of country and you're buying properties here to buy, fix and sell or buy, fix and rent, you absolutely don't have the ability to visit your property on a regular basis. So what we did a long time ago is we created a process called Quality Control Inspection Services. And this is great for investors who are local, who are busy, who are not going to be able to get out to their property on a regular basis, or someone who's out of state. Now, um, why I created Quality Control is I've worked with different banks, government agencies, asset managers, and I learned a long time ago, the most important thing you can do is be visiting your property on a regular basis. And um, I learned that visiting your property about once every two weeks, not only while it's being renovated, there's a lot of people there at the property while it's being renovated. And you're probably getting a lot of photos and reports at the property during the renovation stage. But when the home goes on the market for sale, someone needs to continue to go out to the property to make sure that it smells nice, looks nice. Is the grass cut? Is the snow shoveled? Is the heat on, etc.? Um, and so that's something that's uh, very important for investors is during the home while it's on the market for sale. And then after the property goes under contract with a end buyer, or maybe you have a tenant that's going to be moving into the property, making sure that that property is being properly preserved. So you need somebody visiting the property, not only while it's being renovated, and that's the exciting part and lots of changes are happening and investors stay pretty much engaged during that stage. But then once the home goes on the market, there's no changes. It's just looking at a property that you just got fixed up, cleaned up, and uh, typically nothing's changing at the property. So you're less likely to go out to the property at that point, but that's when we need you there the most. And then uh, once the property is under contract with the end buyer, just making sure that the property is properly preserved and we're gonna be handing off a good product to the end buyer. So um, what we do is we, we implemented a process called Quality Control Services. You can order it right from our website on chaseforeclosure.com. A very simple form to fill out, very inexpensive. The quality control inspector will visit the property once every two weeks. So if you close on the home today, take ownership of it, you bought it in foreclosure from a bank, a distressed seller, whatever it may be, you close on the home. And if you've engaged with quality control, they will start going out to the property once every two weeks. They're going to take a full set of photos of the property, typically like 30 or 40 photos of the property, exterior, interior, and they're going to upload everything to the Chase Workplace app. And you're going to be able to visually see what's happening your, in, at your property in real time. So during renovation, probably if you're using a renovation contractor, they're uploading photos and videos, etc. And a lot of communication is happening there. But if you have quality control, you also have another report. And what I really like about quality control is it kind of pushes the renovation contractors if they know and they can see on the app, on our workplace app, that every two weeks, a full set of photos is going to be uploaded to you, the investor, to me at Chase Real Estate and to Christy and, and everybody involved is going to be seeing that there was no progress. I think that the renovation contractors pay uh, very close attention to that. So it is a motivating factor for them to make sure that they're getting out to the property. So it works in that fashion, not only to make sure that things are moving along, but it keeps things moving along. And so um, then when the home gets on the market, uh, the quality control inspector is continuing to go out every two weeks. And if they identify a problem, they're going to take photos of it, but they'll probably make a quick little mention. Hey, there's an issue at the property. The, uh, the furnace is not working properly or the air conditioner is not working or the grass is really long. And they're going to take a photo of that specific item and probably make a mention of that. And that, again, is all uploaded into the Chase Workplace app. So you're going to be able to see that. You're going to be notified. Hey, this is what's going on at your property. 
and yeah, you're really in the loop of what's going on. So if you're out of state, if you're local, it's a great way for you to uh, know what's happening with your property. And it works in conjunction with our Chase Workplace app. So you got it in your pocket, you grab your phone, you're like, let me see what's going on at my property today. You know what's happening at your house. And if there's an issue that needs to be addressed, we can react to that very, very quickly. So um, all you need to do is download the Chase Workplace app and we're gonna send you an invite when you buy a property. We're gonna send you an invite to that. You can order quality control services right directly from Chase Foreclosure and uh, you're gonna pay them directly. Uh, Chase Real Estate is not financially affiliated with them. We don't have any stake in it. You're hiring a quality control inspector to go out likely it's going to be a licensed real estate broker that goes out to the property and visits the home. So um, that's a, they're going to be looking at it from a realtor's eyes, meaning uh, as they're walking through the property while it's being rehabbed, while it's uh, on the market for sale, what are buyers going to like, what are buyers not going to like, agents, et cetera. Uh, or is something like this uh, an issue at the property going to come up on an appraisal? So there's so many things that go on with quality control inspections, and I encourage investors to use this. I can assure you, if you have this, it's going to make your property more profitable. You'll likely sell it faster. Um, I've seen investors who make commitments to do it. They say, hey, I'm going to do my own QC, and then a birthday party gets in the way, and you forget to go out there that week and a week goes by and then you know we start to get feedback from real estate agents while it's on the market there's bees flying around in the house or something goofy like that um that happens and um uh, we want to we want to not be reacting to issues uh we want to be proactive and taking care of the issues so that when somebody's out at that property uh, it's in perfect shape and looks great. So as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call and you can get all of this stuff on our website on chaseforeclosure.com. Thanks.